welcome. Today is an unboxing. This was sent to me by Claw Hammer Supply. They have their own YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description below. They hit me up and they said, hey, do you want a brew system? And I said, yes, I do. And they sent it, and here we are. As far as I understand it, this is a 10-gallon brew in a bag system. I do not know exactly what it looks like yet. I have not opened the box. Let's see what the boxes look like and, and go from there. First, this. This looks like thermal wrapping of some kind. And then this came two days later. So let's get right to it. This has been sitting in my garage now for three, three or five days. Thought about opening it sooner just to see what it was, but let's, let's do it together. We're all in this together. Here's a list of stuff that's on it. Dang, this thing is <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's a beautiful kettle. Look at that. Looks like this is the uh, bag, if you will. Pull it out afterward. Now I do a lot of small batches and I'm really, really hoping that I can do like two gallons in this without too much issue. The fact that it's brewing a bag should be okay. Okay, so it came with this netting, parts, it looks like they're tubing, more parts, uh, the plug-in, Maybe some temp control thing. Let's see what's in these other boxes here. Okay, so there's four boxes I have not opened up yet. Start with the top. Maybe a pump? No, it's a uh, war cooler, plate chiller, I should say. I've always wanted to own one of these. This is awesome. I'm gonna step up my game a little bit here. Oh boy. Gotta be pro now, guys. Pump. Okay, this looks like it's the, uh, yeah, the thermostat or rever regulator. Guessing that you just set it to heat and put the pump on and it regulates it. Plus more, we'll find out. This looks like some sort of hop spider, potentially. Or a hop container. Throw your hops in there. Or anything you want, really. Alright, so it's in this bag. It's a bunch of fittings, as I, as I thought. Okay, the thing I don't see here are instructions on how to put this together. As I said, they do have a YouTube channel. I'm probably gonna have to go to that and see what they, their tutorial on how to set this up. They do have it actually online, clawhammersupply.com forward slash pages forward slash assembly. All right, laptop. So there are seven videos on how to do this. Oh, no, it's one video. I'm gonna just follow what the instructions said. I won't be probably as thorough um, because you should watch their videos. They're very good at uh, explaining what's going on here. But it says to start at the bottom, there's these two holes here. These two fittings with Teflon tape, screws in, and then the screws in like that. Okay, the next thing it deals with this, with this lid, this little thing with the hole in the top goes in there. Rubber washer goes on the inside, then the washer, then that. And then the top sticks out like that. And then one of these screws on top. It says do it with Teflon tape. So uh, I'll do that right now. And by the way, it did come with Teflon tape. There it is. So a little ways into their video. Well, the next step, it showed what this hole was for. It's for this thing. It goes in like that with Teflon tape and just screws in. So this is like a... Uh, a little like hop strainer, whatever, particle collector, whatever you want to call it. it. Screws on the inside. Just goes in like so. Okay, I think I'm on the right track. I still gotta figure out what this side is. He said in the beginning that he'll kind of get back to that, so I'm hoping they show exactly how to set that up. It's a bunch of these things as I was using earlier. I used it for the lid, the top of the lid here. Looks like they're all the same. And now it's onto the plate chiller, 
and I go on the smaller of the two here, like so. And with Teflon tape. Got the pump now, got one of these things on it. Another one of those, the same thing, attached to this, a little open valve thing. With Teflon tape, of course. There was one thing in the video he did say, um, and that there's a thermometer that attaches to this. So when the, it's running through, you can see how it's cooling down from, from what I gathered. I did not see in the kit that they sent me. He said it was optional. It's not a big deal. I'll just use my own thermometer to see when it's cooled down. So we have 13 feet of hose that comes with it, along with five disconnects. In the video, they said for brewing on a table, like a regular table, like I probably will on this one. Then cut it into six feet, one hose, and then one four feet, and there's a three foot left over. So, do that now. Six foot one, four foot, and a three foot. He said to leave this side uh, open. Okay, so now we install the electric elements. I got these pieces here. I got some tri clamps, small and bigger. It's the end connection to it. There's a cord here, a box, probe. So uh, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna watch the video for a second here. Okay, so um, again, I will say they have their own tutorials on this. You should watch those, they're more in depth. I'm just gonna go through this super quick. The wires go in here, like so. This thing goes there. This flat end then screws on there, like so. So that's the beginning of this thing. There's a little screw here, a little hole, and this little uh, Tony Stark heart thing. That's, that's the official name for this, right? The Tony Stark heart thing. The green one of these wires here, the little hole in it, looks like it goes inside on that screw, and then I tighten it up with this little, tiny little thing. Next, as I was showing earlier, this thing goes in the top and you just, it screws right in. Not too tight, he said, but just tight enough. There's a rubber thing here that goes over the top of this. And then this goes on top of this. And then a clamp. There you go. So this is all tightened here. This black piece, the top part there. The clamp is good and tightened. Um, I have one more here, this rubber thing goes here, this goes in here, like so, clamp, and there it is. There's a pump, there's also a heat element, on-off switch for this puppy. Okay, I think I got it mostly figured out, I'm gonna run, run a test with water. So let's see how it goes here. I got it all rigged, I gotta figure out where to rig everything later on but uh but for now let's uh, let's see how this goes so this is the temperature what i want to get to and what it's at right now that's blinking that's over i want to set it to 154 degrees set heat on the probe is in here and it's connected to here Here's the inside. And that's the heat element right there. Here, it comes out of here. And right into there. Here's the pump. Here, and I can recirculate back on top into this. So let's see how the pump works and see if it recirculates. So the pump on temperature, pump pulls it here. So that way it recirculates as it heats up. If you want to do it that way, you can probably just heat it up normally, but to get it through the grain evenly, I am probably gonna try and run this pump. Again, I got to set my rig up so it actually flows right. I'm just testing it out. You can set an alarm on the box as well. So once it's done, it hits your temperature, it beeps. There's a tutorial on how to do that on uh, the claw hammer supply. Yeah, and I think it'll just hold the temp throughout the course of it. Once it hits 154, it'll just hold that temp. I can recirculate probably through the whole entire mash for that 60 minutes. And then um, you just pull this out here, which is on the will be on the inside. 
and these here hook on the inside of it and you just rest your mash there on it on the screen let it let it drip out so yeah this looks like a great system this free wall could be my uh brew system for the foreseeable future this thing is awesome it's better than i expected so far and uh yeah so um look forward to the brew day on that um i'll post that uh yeah i'll post that as soon as i as soon as i, as soon as I can get to brew day with this thing so uh thank you for watching like subscribe check out Klein hammer supply they have really cool stuff and um, stay tuned for more videos. See you next time.